Hi everyone, I'm going to share with you how to make the uh, coaster or anything you want, you just increase the size. Um, so I have cut the 3 inch square piece of paper and I use this to cut the, the square out. You can cut many, um, so you can cut this out, out like this, trace is a square. I have cut many but I'm showing you for one right here so you don't have to wait for me to cut the whole bunch like that. You go on to fold it like this. And then you go on to fold it again. Now you have two fold here and then the big fold. So you can do this. Just press right in the center like that so it have the mark right there. So needle, what I got in for Walmart. They're very good because it's so it's thin and it's long, so it won't hurt your hand. So I'm going to go from the inside of the two fold right on this side. I'm gonna fold it over like uh, go over like this, and then I go right into the middle. So when you look in here right across like that, so you know this is right there. That's where you pull in this side over to the center. And then you go going up in the same spot that you're coming down. From here, you're going to take this side right at the pointy. You're going to pull it like this. And then you go back to the same one in the middle. You go on to pull. And now you have something like this. You're going to go back to the top. Slide the needle under, make the loop, and you're going to make another. You make it one more time, make a loop, and you can come out. You're going to do all, depend on how big you want. So I have done a few here, and I'm going to do the rest later. Okay, and I have done a lot. I just, the best way when you cut and then you fold iron and everything put on the side and then you can sew one together. That's where it's quick. So here everyone, I have the five inches fell fabric and I'm cutting the fabric is one inch bigger. So this fabric is six inches, five inches. And I place it right here. So I know that I'm going to go around here a quarter of an in baiting stitch or around. That's way that I have room to pull and it cover a bit on the side of this. So just let this go. And then from here, you can go from the a quarter of an inch on the outer line and baiting stitch around the circle. My hand sew for everything I use double thread. So keep doing this. So everyone when you get into this to meet from the other side when you first start just spread it out a little bit so you can put this in. It look perfect. I'm going to sew this. I didn't sew it all the way to the back. So now you, after this, you're going to make sure we're going to sew it like the spider to, to make sure this stay in. Facing down like this, and it right across, like right here where you join the two, it's gonna meet like this.
okay so it right here where the joint it's gonna meet the outer line of the circle in the back here like this everyone and now you're going to do this baiting stitch you don't need to go very close okay and now the next one gonna be right next to it like this and make sure the back the joint here that meet the circle Super symbol. And continue doing the whole thing. So this joy right here, meet the circle, the outer line of the circle. The main thing is you want to make sure this joy is right here, and the joist right here meet the side of the circle. Continue doing the whole thing. So everyone, after I place this petal along the side, isn't that so pretty? Everything light up right here. Very, very pretty. So now I'm going to change the red color into green because I'm going to sew along the side gonna go inside this and I'm going to slide the needle on a little bit on the purple so I'm gonna slide the needle right here out where the purple so I'm gonna slide the needle underneath here And I hide the thread under and I lift this up. I'm gonna slide the needle under the purple. And then on the green. Go on the green. And then slide right on the purple underneath the fold here on the purple and continue to do the whole thing and now I'm going to the green on the side see this one right here you lift it up you're gonna slide the needle underneath here you don't want to see the thread that's the main thing now I'm going to the purple already so I'm gonna slide the needle under go right into this green right here coming out Move this and then I slide the needle under the purple like this and then on the green continue doing the whole thing so now you can see I sew it all in and it's staying so you go on to sew the whole entire petal from the outside here together with the purple remember slide the needle you don't show any thread that's showing on the side so now after you sew on the first one the first row you can take this out now it's safe so take this made and stitch out okay so now the first layer is finished and this is how it looks and don't worry about this casiness okay so the second layer is a bit easier but what you need to do you're gonna get this um, the next one that you go in between these two so between these two you place this one right there just like that bait and stitch that's what we need to do from here like that you want to make sure you go in the front and then you can see how it can stay right in the middle like this okay so now I'm gonna hold it like this 
you're gonna go and bathe instead it's a bit extra work for you but it's nice when you finish so you can either way you can go in the front to make it easier for you you can do this place it right in the middle just like so so this line it meet in the other line now go and bait and stick this together Go into this side so you can see more. This needle is excellent. It's it's thin and it's long. You can see that stay in the middle right there. Continue going down so you can add more. Now that's the first one. The second one. Keep on moving down. So go ahead and do the whole thing exact the same way. So now at this time, the second layer already add in and look this one, this one going to be in the back later on. Okay, looks so nice. And um, I don't know how many of them I will show you. I will share with you how many. So you have an idea. So everyone after we finish this on this side is good, but I'm going to take this out later. And we're going to put that on that side. And now we have another fair fabric that I cut here five inches circle. And this fabric right here, I have the flower right here. You can any print you want to center because at the end you want the flower to, I want the flower to be in the center. It's nice that way. Now you have an idea when you place it in like this. I'm going a quarter of an inch and I'm going to bait and stitch all around just like you did earlier to the first circle, the first one. So bait and stitch all around the outer of the circle a quarter of an inch. We will want to sew with the sewing machine on that, that line right here, but I don't want it to, so it's all up to you after you've done this and place it on if you want to do this so the light going to put this fail inside and at this time i want to make sure it won't take the flower far away i want the flower to be in the center And I'm gonna go like this, slide it up or around. I just want to make sure this fabric stay down to the fail fabric. But I slide the needle, the knee, the thread won't show on this side, nothing show on that side. I just slide it in here. I put my finger right here so the needle won't pass my finger. If, I, if it, the needle pass my finger, you know what happened? I won't be here. Okay, so go like that and go around the circle. What you try, what I try to do is that I want to sew it down, okay? And it's it's okay. It's not even. It's okay. As long as I have the flower here, it's nice like this, okay? So go ahead and do exactly what I'm doing. So now I'm finished going around and I sew all around like this. I'm going to bring this back in here and you can center this. You can eyeball and see is this right in the center. Very easy like that. Go right in here. One more time, and then I'm going to scoop on the side of this circle 
like this and then pull so now it's on the purple I'm gonna go to the green continue doing the same thing like this you kind of when you see it you go on to close it a little bit so you don't go too far away now I go into the green now I'm slide on the purple the circle and I go to the green lift this up so you can see okay and now when I go to the green I'm gonna slide on the purple the circle and continue doing exact the same like we did to this side so everyone after I sew all around you can just take this out you can iron if you want to or you can just leave it like this it is so awesome I love this look at the flower in the middle isn't that so beautiful and now you go in the back and you can take out this bait and stitch You can increase the size if you want to, everyone. You can do whatever you want to do. Increase the size, six, seven, eight, nine, whatever inches you like. So the finished size from here to here, it's seven and a half inch. And the circle in the middle is still five. Look very pretty. Stay safe and take care, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I just want to ask you to do me a big favor. Just watch the video. Stay safe and take care, everyone. Um, if you are new to our channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. In the front. I love you all. And I hope you'll be able to make this for yourself or for gift or whatever. Stay safe, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click on the bell notification so when I upload a video, you never miss any of my new videos. Stay safe everyone.